Hello and welcome to this corporate courses guide on ETFs or exchange traded funds. Let's get started. So an exchange traded fund, better known as an ETF, is a type of financial instrument that allows you or an institutional investor to trade into and out of broader based exchanges but to trade into it as one tradable stock. So if you take one like the S&P 500 which is a conglomerate of 500 of the largest companies into one index it allows you to trade it as one tradable stock. So why would you invest in an ETF? Well basically what an ETF does it's a cheaper way to get diversified and get exposure to broader financial markets. But why? So let's go ahead and talk about just what an ETF actually does and how the system actually works. So you have these four stocks that are all part of the S&P 500 and then you have an exchange on the other end here. But in between those two sides you have a broker. What the broker does is the broker helps connect you to the exchange so that you can purchase your shares. So I've listed a couple what would be considered brokers but of course they charge a fee to offer that connection to the exchange. Most of them will charge one to ten dollars per trade and will offer this in order to purchase each individual stock. So that means if it's five dollars a trade it would be five dollars to purchase each individual position. So if we were to take the S&P 500 which like I said is an index of 500 different companies it would you would take the 500 different stocks and multiply that by our five dollar per trade and that would bring you out to twenty five hundred dollars not to mention that you would have to invest in 500 different companies individually which would take quite a bit of time so if we look at what an ETF does and if we look at an ETF for the S&P 500 that means that we take all of these 500 stocks and we package them up and put them into one tradable stock that way it offers easy tradability and access to the broader markets that you can trade in and out of easily so it would only cost you five dollars because you're only putting on one trade and it takes a lot less time so how does this happen basically you have a management company that's willing to manage the ETF and what they do is they will issue different shares into their fund. Of course for these shares it's going to cost you some money. So basically what they do once they sell these shares is they take that money and then they invest it into the index that it's trying to invest in. In this case it would be the S&P 500. Of course they offer to where you have to pay a small management fee but it is much smaller than previous options before ETFs existed. So to kind of finish off this video I want to leave you with some different ETF investments such as SPY which is for the S&P 500 index or the Russell 2000 index or the NASDAQ or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So that gives you an idea of ones that you can look at after, done wa after you're done watching this video. So if you like this video, go ahead and comment, rate, or subscribe, and let me know down in the comment section what kind of videos you'd like to learn about or which ones you'd like to see on this channel. Thanks for watching.